This is Dan, and welcome back to Backpacking Adventures. For the Loyal Sox Trail, brand spanking shiny new hot tent, the old loggers path, southern terminus of the Western Trail. Try our luck at some fishing. I am out on the Susquehannock Trail, small section of the AT. We're gonna head on down to Stones Pond. All right, what's up backpackers? This is Dan, Backpacking Adventures. I'm here with Lance again. We are at the trailhead for the Loyal Sox Trail. We're gonna do an overnight into Sones Pond and back. Um, so it should be pretty fun. Have made it to Sounds Pond. Um, we are looking for our places to uh, pitch our tents, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna gather a bunch of firewood to have a nice fire tonight. And we're gonna cook, which is gonna be really nice. Chicken breast with gazebo room dressing. Well, I'm in my tent. It's about 21, 22 degrees. Morning everybody, it's day two. We start a little fire, um, just a small one. We're gonna cook um, some eggs and sausage and make some toast and then get ready, packed up and get out. And we are heading out. We're We made it back to the car. It's kind of demanding walking in the snow up the hills and rocks. A little slippery, um, but overall it's a great trip. Thanks for coming along. Remember, What's up backpackers? This is Dan, Backpacking Adventures, and I'm back out on the trail. And today I have my brand spanking shiny new hot tent to try out. I have my niece Carly with me. She's gonna help me with the hot tent. And this is also her first backpacking trip. Hi. So we are at camp. It's a nice wide open spot. There's gonna be a lot of nice wood fell, uh, fallen trees to get wood. Got everything set up tonight on the menu or New York strips. We're Woo. just sharing one. Potatoes going over there. We got to get the green beans going here soon. Look at that. That was so delicious. Mm -hmm. That is really good. I know. That is so good. Mm -mm -mm. I love this. Good 
Good morning, everybody. It's day two. She's in there getting a fire going right now for us to make breakfast. On the menu today, scrambled eggs with ham, uh, onions and green peppers, sausage and toast. Doesn't that just look good? Look at that. Yeah, I love this stuff. on camera oh my god no. i mean carly are you okay <laughs> you feel like a turtle and you can't get up All right, so another good trip. How'd you like it? It was fun. You didn't die, that was great. I didn't die. Thanks for watching. And see you next time. Well, again, today I am going to do the old loggers path. This trail is roughly a 28, 27 and a half, 28 mile loop. the trail is pretty muddy. Well, let's talk about my gear. I pretty much downsized to my mostly warm weather gear. Second breakfast. Well, I think I'm coming up on the waterfalls, which I think are part of Doe Run. about seven miles in they're calling for severe thunderstorms this afternoon with high winds so I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the waterfalls and rehydrate so this is don't run shelter it's pretty it's relatively new I was a little after 12 and I'm at mile 11, so I'm making good time, but clouds are starting to roll in. It's about a quarter after one. I can tell the storms are rolling in. I am at mile 11 for the day. Let's see where we get. Came out to, I think, I believe it's a gas line. So hopefully I make it to, uh, the next shelter before the storms hit. Here's a really nice campsite. There is this big rock and it looks like a tree turned over. So this tree at one time was living on top of this rock. I don't know how that's possible. It's pretty neat. Thank you. 
night song about mile 17, 16, something like that. It's about 10 miles to go for the trip, so. Feeling pretty good. We got about 11 miles um, to the end of this trail. I'm thinking, and I'm just thinking right now, I may be able to do this trail in a day hike. That would be 27 and a half, 28 miles in a day. I think I can do it. We'll see. Enough talking. I forgot about this. I gotta cross this. I gotta figure out where now. Last year when I did this with Lance, it was not this steep. This must have got all washed out somehow. Gonna have to cross over in there. I was, I made it across. There's some really nice campsite along this trail. There's no shortage of, of campsites. And this one even looks like somebody made a nice recliner with arms and everything. I'm at about mile 20 for the day or between 19 and 20. Came out on the road where me and Lance got lost last year for about three mile or three hours extra on the trip. I made it to Sharp Point Vista. Well, it's probably closer to six o'clock. It just started raining. four more miles to the car. Oh, my glorious car. About 20, almost 28 miles total, 27 and a half or something like that. So I'm pretty proud of that, that's pretty good. But I can tell you what, I am very, very tired and very sore. So thanks for coming along and I appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Good morning, everybody. This is Dan, and I am at the southern terminus of the Western Trail. Now, this trail is uh, approximately 30 miles, and it is a point-to-point, -point, meaning it is not a loop. The Western Trail is also known as the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon. So the weather for this trip is expected to be absolutely gorgeous. 0% chance of rain. plan for today is again, I really don't have one. I just have to say, it is absolutely the most beautiful day. Not a cloud in the sky.
right, so it's about one o'clock. I'm about 10 miles in. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna have lunch. Okay, so I made it to the Bradley Wales State Forest picnic area. Just rest for a little bit and figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. Looks like I found home for tonight. I'm about roughly mile 19 for the day. On the menu for tonight is from Packet Gourmet. It's the All-American Works Burger. Dinner is done, and let me tell you, it was good. So I am pretty tired. I'll probably just end up falling asleep. All right, good morning, day two. Slept pretty good. Six for the day, got about five miles left for the trail. Well, I made it, 30 miles. Trail was a great trail. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Can I have a number two? Thank you. Thank you. I am on the Loyal Sox Trail and I'm with my niece Carly again. This will be her first uh, overnight backpacking trip where we're actually 
hiking a good set of miles. We just came up away from the haystacks. We had a great lunch. You're filming me just in case I die? Yep. For the record. I almost did right there. <laughs> well, we made it to camp and Probably barely just in time, it's starting to rain, and I don't know if you can hear off into the distance, but it is thundering. All right, so we have our camp all set up. It's thundering and lightning, um, but I am seeing some glimmers of sun, so hopefully it kind of passes us by. We're done fishing and we didn't catch a single thing. I don't even know if we really even had a bite. And it has a lot of beef in it too. Yeah. morning day two and we survived Carly did you survive mm -hmm. that's good because that would have been a lot of paperwork for me
Well, we just came across a rattlesnake. Oh my God, that's ice cold. Another snake. Looks like a black snake, a rat snake. We are almost at the car. How you feeling, Carly? I'm feeling tired, but I'm happy I did it. Are you having fun? Will you do it again? Yes. So we may have another little backpacker on our hands. That's it for this trip. Thank you guys for coming along. I will see you next time. Good morning, everybody. This is Dan of Backpacking Adventures. And I am out on the Susquehannock Trail. I just parked my car at the terminus called Northern Gateway. And so now I am off on a six day, 85 mile trip. All right, so I just wanted to fill you in on how I'm doing uh, some of this navigation. So basically what I'm doing is I'm following this map. So every time I come across uh, where I cross another trail, I take my pencil that I have and I go on the map and I will mark it uh, of that's where I'm at. My plan for this trip, as far as like miles per day, it's, I have about 85 miles to get through to cover. When I stick to the six days, I have to average around 14 miles a day. I just came across a bridge and I came across a picnic table. So I came across this, I'm not sure what it is, but they have a tic-tac-toe table, nice firing and benches. It's gonna be an uphill climb about a mile, mile and a half, and I think on the map they call it Cardiac Hill, so. So I made it up Cardiac Hill. I need to find a place to sit down. So this is right by the fire tower, it looks like a, some kind of shelter. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I'm probably at somewhere between mile 17 and 18-ish, probably closer to 17. Probably would have been farther, but there was a hiker coming the other way. We stopped, we got to talking for a, a pretty long while. So I found this campsite. I'm gonna set up camp and uh, go from there. I think I'm just gonna crawl into my tent and just relax and watch a movie. It is about 7.30 and I am tired. Good morning, day two. I don't know if you can hear it, but it started to rain and it just started to rain probably about 15, 20 minutes ago. It uh, only started raining around five o'clock this morning, but it's still coming down from the trees. I don't need my raincoat on. So I just passed mile 24 and soon I'm going to start on a big decline for about two miles down into Old Bull Run State Park. So the uh, trail actually goes right through Old Bull Run State Park. So I have my uh, picnic table and I have all my gear out to dry. So that should only take a couple minutes. But right now I'm going to eat. Whew. Well, I just made it up out of Old Bull Run State Park and it was a two mile climb up. I'm between 28 and 29 right now, miles total for the trip. For the day, it's about between 11 and 12. So I need to sit here. It's a little campsite here and I need to do some electrolyte replacements before I move on, but we will see how far I get today. I am at now at mile 37 and I'm tired. I don't think I'm going on because it's to get to mile 39. I know there's another campsite, but you have to go up a mile and I'm not doing that again. I'm a little tired. So. This campsite's gonna have to do, I'm gonna set my tent up right here and eat and then uh, relax. My tent's all up. Good morning, this is day three and I'm gonna eat some breakfast and get moving. It is seven o'clock, I'm all packed up and ready to go. And then today is nothing but a roller coaster up. I made it to the top of that hill, let me tell you. That was tough, there was no switchbacks. It was straight up, it was kind of muddy and gravelly. So if you're coming up, you need to be careful. There was stinging nettle all the way up. So not only was I drained from coming up, but I was being stung by stupid stinging nettle the whole way. I just had the second nut punch of the day. I'm going in the wrong direction. So that's two miles in the wrong direction up over that crazy ass mountain. It's just a shame, not paying attention. I made it to the top of the original hill that I was supposed to go up. And I really would have rather done this this morning.
Well, just on par for today, uphill and downhill. I don't know if you can see, but I came about midway from that, down that hill, all the way down, you can't really see it, and all the way up, and that's the trail. So here's another shelter. This is the third one I saw on this trail. I just passed mile 46, four more miles to get into town. My original goal was mile 57. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm getting really tired. The trail really kicked my butt today. It's been up and down. I made it to Cross Fork and unfortunately, there's nothing open. It's the 4th of July weekend, so everything is booked. I am at mile roughly between 53 and 54. I uh, found this little campsite here, it's right by the water. I am so thirsty. I'm gonna find a spot for my tent. But I think first I'm gonna sit here and I'm just gonna drink a bunch of water. I'm thirsty. On the menu tonight is some ramen, uh, some spam. To recap the day, today was tough. Out of the gate, it was just bad, I went the wrong direction. It wasn't even that I did an extra four miles. It was that it was up over this strenuous hill and then back down it. That's what really took it out of me today. So I did make it up 16 and a half trail miles, but I would have been at 21 today and it would have set me up for a very short last day. Good morning. It is now day four. I am at mile roughly 54, between 53 and 54. So the plan for today, I'm gonna see how far as I can get again. All right, I broke camp. Let's see what today brings. So I'm coming up on mile 60. Here's another shelter. I didn't realize there were so many shelters on this trail, but. I just passed mile marker, 64. Just made it to the top of the one hill on my way down. I'm roughly at now mile 68. And if the hills coming up are like this at all, it's tough. It's gonna be a tough day. Just past mile marker, 70. That puts me at 14 miles left of the trail. And it's only 3.30. And I'm thinking I might be able to push and get out of here. Just past mile marker 78. I'm gonna make it. It'll be a 30 and a half mile day today. Just getting ready to go up my second to last hill. And then I'll be coasting back to my car. I just made it to the top 
of my last climb for this trip and I'm at mile 82. Well, I made it back to mile zero, which is 84, and I just got a short little hike till I uh, get to the parking lot, and then my adventure's over. And I just want to thank you all for coming along on this adventure. This trip was very fun. It was very challenging. This was probably the most difficult trail I've ever done, by far. A lot of hills, a lot of elevation gain and loss, so you better be prepared for that. A lot of hills. Good morning everybody. I am back out on the trail. Today I am doing a small section of the AT. I'm at uh, starting at Pine Grove Furnace State Park and going uh, basically down to, to Birch Run Shelter uh, for the night. And on this trip, <laughs> Lance is with me on this trip. So let's get this started. So this is Lance and my first trip together this year since January. Lance is going to try a hammock setup for the first time. We just made it to Tom's Run Shelter. I don't know if you can see it in the back. There's a pavilion here. We're going to sit and just have a quick lunch and then move on. Um, we're going to do, probably do a good 10 miles today, just to see some sights and, you know, have a good hike. So yeah, talking about injuries, yeah, you know, when you get up there in years and you get older, you get, you know, things start hurting. I wake up some mornings and have some kind of pain and have no idea how I have it. And, you know, beginning of this year and last year, for me, it was plantar fasciitis. That's what did me in a lot. Last year, if you, if you follow me, remember on the old loggers path last year, Lance tore his calf, just hiking, not doing any, you know, we were just hiking and his calf just went like that. And, Took him, you know, a couple months to get back, and now it's his back. I mean, you have to figure he's you know, like a thousand years old. So, you know, back in in his day, his backpack when he was young, his backpack was made of stone. And we're out here hiking, and we have to avoid, you know, the occasional snake or maybe a bear from time to time. He was dodging T-Rexes, man. They were coming after him. That's that tells you how old. But there, how are you feeling so far, Lance? All right, so we'll get to his car, make the call, see if we're going to go on a camp or not. We are at the 2020 official halfway point. A little bit of nature. So we made it here to the Birch Run Shelter and we are in the process of getting set up, so.
On the menu for me tonight is the Tuscan beef stew. I got Texas State Fair Chili. Love them. Dinner's done. It was very good. We hung our bear bags and we're just now, we got our base layers on. It's probably just going to relax, probably hang out, make fun of each other for a while. Uh, maybe listen to some music or whatever, but it's really crowded here. There's a couple other people that came in. So unless anything else happens tonight, like Lance gets eaten by a bear, that'll film it. But other than that, we'll see you in the morning. All right. Good morning, everybody. It's day two. Um, we're up and about. We already had our breakfast and coffee. We're going to start getting packed up here soon and head on back to the car, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah we're just going to head back to the car and probably go feed our face with some burgers or something. So we were just packing up and getting ready to leave and a woman that was staying there at the shelter as well had said that going uh, south there was a massive tea berry patch and I never had any she, she found one right near where we were camped and I tasted it. it was amazing so we did walk the opposite direction about a quarter of a mile and this is the patch here and we're just looking for a tea berry to eat so here's what they look like little leaves that grow about three inches off the ground just a little red tea berry We are almost back to the car, so this trip is officially over. Uh, we had a great time, great weather. Um, and there actually was more water on the trail than what I thought there would be. So um, as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one. What's up everybody? This is Dan. Welcome back to Backpacking Adventures. Today I'm with Lance. We're back out here on the Loyal Sox Trail. We're now at the Haystacks on the App, not even on the Appalachian Trail. We are at the Haystacks on the Loyal Sox Trail, made it down. I brought a stool along. That's blasphemy in the ultralight world. Today for lunch, I am having the, uh, basically just ramen, but with ramen rescue with chicken from Packet Gourmet. So we made it down to the haystacks. This trip isn't really about miles. So we're just mainly coming out here just to camp and have a good time. It gets dark early. After about three and a half hours of hiking, we made it here. We were at Soane's Pond. You can probably see it behind us. So we have everything in porch mode, but we do have a very nice view of the pond.
using a boulder to hang a bear, bind, blind, uh, bear line. We couldn't find anything else. If everything's picked with those sticks, there's no little rock, so we just used that big old boulder. Worked fine. Here's the saw. It only takes like a couple seconds to assemble, but it's called the little buck. Here's the saw all put together, and again, it's held by tension with a little toggle. So far, it's working pretty good. For dinner tonight, I am having Dottie's Chicken and Dumplings from Packet Gourmet. I'm having Mountain House Chicken Fajita Bowl. A meal time drink. I'm gonna be making my apple cider. Lance will be making some too. And there's his Raging Inferno going. Because he put way too much fuel in it. <laughs> That's really good. That tastes like homemade. Mmm. Dottie, you really did a good job on this. Good morning. It was a great night's sleep. Got down to about at least 36 degrees the last time I checked around 4 a.m. But look what I get to wake up to. Um, it did actually this morning, it was 34 when I woke up. So that was a lot colder than what we expected, but we were prepared for it. And uh, Lance heard the infamous coyotes around here because I heard them the first time I was out here like 15 years ago. But he heard them hooping and howling, and I'm glad I didn't because I used my earplugs and that blocks all the in impending doom on me. I just sleep like a baby. We're all packed up and we are heading back. Got about six miles to go. Ooh. We didn't stop at all. How many ball we had? No, we did. We had one. We made it back to the parking lot. So we made about maybe three hours, six, around six miles in three hours. That was pretty good. So trip's over, had a lot of fun. The days were warm. It's warming up now, it's in the 60s already. And the nights were nice and cold. Perfect, perfect for backpacking and, and sleeping. It was absolutely beautiful. That's it for now. Just wanna thank you guys for watching and see you next time.